Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to install Olama in the web UI in Ubuntu so you can have your own chat GPT style AI on your computer privately, free from corporate, free from Big Brother. This is going to assume that you have a video card and that you have Docker already installed. I'm using an RTX 3080. If you don't have Docker installed, if you're using Ubuntu, you're going to want to install it through repo and not through snap because you're less likely to run into problems that way. The next step is to clone the Git repo. And also I'll have links in the description for how to install Docker on Ubuntu if you don't already. So once we have the git repo cloned, we can go to the Llama web UI directory and we're going to run a pretty simple command to get it installed. sudo docker compose up minus d minus minus build. That's going to download Olama and it's also going to install the web user interface all in one shot. Now it's running, it's good to go. So we're going to open up a web browser and go to localhost on port 3000. And that's going to load the Olama web UI. And under select model you'll see there's nothing there because you have to download a model. Now under the settings here you can go to the models area and you can type in the name of the model that you want to install. So the list is actually over at olama.ai and if you click models, it'll show you what you can install. These are all the different ones that are available. In this case for testing, we'll install Mistral 7B. Mistral colon 7B, hit download. It's gonna pull the manifest and then download the model and it's gonna show you the progress in a progress bar. Mistral 7B should be installed now. We'll have to reload the page and pull down select model and Mistral 7B will be there. And we can prompt it with something like, you know, uh, what is the average distance from the earth to the sun? And there it is. So also when you go into the settings and you click on advanced, you can set different configuration options. Like if you click on temperature, you can change it. It has other probability settings that you can change and then you would click save. And it makes it pretty easy to download models, change settings and chat with it. Also, this works over the LAN if you go to other from another computer over to this one. So if you type in the IP address of the machine from a different one on port 3000 through the web browser, it'll load up. The only downside is it doesn't use HTTPS with SSL, so it seems to not be encrypted. Uh, I was reading somewhere that there was a reverse proxy option. I just haven't really gotten into that. So that's just something to be aware of. And another issue would be if you want to set firewall rules to either allow or disallow this connection over your LAN, because by default it is available. So that's pretty much it for this video. A little background about me. I'm a technician. I'm not a programmer. I don't do AI for a living. I just have fun playing around with large language models in Linux. I figured I'd make some videos about it and share things that I discover as I'm playing around having fun. If you watch this video all the way to the end, I appreciate it. This is a pretty new channel, I'm trying to get this off the ground. If you subscribe, I'll be doing this every weekend. And you can go along on this little journey with me and we can have fun exploring other AI systems and open source. It's going to be cool. So buckle up and enjoy the ride.